afternoon everybody with your permission sir i am going to make a brief presentation regarding cyber security and the challenges and some of the e initiatives taken by uttarakhand police challenges to cyber security are very real and are dangerous as told by sir also today internet plays a very significant role in every aspect of uh, human life businesses and delivery of uh, essential services the economics of advanced nations is entirely dependent upon uh, the internet and technology in cyberspace it has become lifeline of a uh, critical infrastructure of all the states especially advanced states critical infrastructure i mean energy production transmission telecommunication banking stock exchanges etc etc number of internet users are increasing and tech savvy population is also increasing which is heavily reliant upon uh, internet and this all makes it very permanent for cyber criminals to attack on our uh, against individuals against uh, institutions and against nation states i'll be very brief regarding overview of cyber crime cyber crime is on the rise as is being evident by the incidents uh, being reported it has got far reaching impacts like uh, disruption of critical infrastructure financial frauds data breaches etc there are huge payoffs at very minimum cost there are no constraints of geographical boundaries and cyber threat is no longer static it is diverse dangerous and it is constantly evolving digitally enabled services are under threat from targeted attacks from advanced adversaries so uh, i will uh, briefly touch upon nature of cyber crimes there are so many of uh, cyber crimes it is humanly impossible to date upon each and every cyber crime on uh, this short presentation but uh, would like to uh, have some uh, just to sensitize you uh, like identity theft it includes the stealing of someone's uh, identity to obtain the credit or services using another's uh, information to assume his id his or her id there are financial frauds which includes money laundering cheating there are cases of cyber defamation which uh, uh, with the help of internet or network somebody can tarnish your image through web mails or through social media hacking there is illegal intrusion into the networks forgery printing the counterfeiting uh, counterfeit currency notes stamps uh, from sophisticated computers printers etc phishing gathering sensitive information from uh, uh, account holders usually uh, user username password card numbers etc credit card frauds unauthorized and illegal use of credit cards debit cards corporate espionage as is told by mr goradia there are various bugs wiretap hidden cameras which will uh, steal the secrets of uh, other companies salami attacks salami attacks means uh, there are only there are there are for financial crimes alteration is so small that nobody uh, nobody realizes them denial of service attacks and distributed denial of service attacks uh this means victim computer or network is flooded by so many requests that it will eventually lead to crash of the computer and many other cyber crimes uh the crimes would be against property or person or against the nation state itself some are the emerging state trends in the cyber crime it is not just about the money uh, money anymore as i told it's regarding it has its scope has been increased espionage disruption of critical infrastructure emergence of sophisticated uh, multi vector uh, threats as the technology is growing the threats are also growing use of social media sites social media has been very popular with all youth and uh, each and everybody so malwares uh, mal malicious apps cloning whatever e as is being told that mobile uh, penetration is increasing so that's why all the threats are increasing attacks over wifi phishing cloud based uh, servers hacktivism cyber warfare and cyber terrorism as sir was uh, telling us hacktivism is use of computer or net as as a means to protest uh, protest to promote their political ends 
For example, somebody uh, will hack government website and post their political messages. Cyber warfare will include nation states. Uh, hackers will be backed by the nation states. And cyber terrorism, correctly called as cyber uh, cyberspace, is now becoming fifth domain. Earlier, as Sir was also telling us, the uh, wars were fought on land, sea, water, and outer space. Now the now the wars will be fought in cyberspace also. Uh, just to give some brief about what are the crimes prevalent in Uttarakhand, we have ATM and uh, credit card frauds. These are rampant here. Online lottery frauds. Uh, somebody will uh, call you from mobile phone or uh, will email you. Nigerian frauds are also there. Uh, there was some detection of frauds recently. Identity theft, as I told uh, you regarding stealing the identity to obtain credit or services. Job fraud, so many people are lured uh, with a fake job offers. They will put some money in their accounts and they will vanish. Use of social media. It is also becoming very much a big headache for us because so many of uh, crimes are being perpetrated like imperson impersonation, fictitious accounts, obscene post, posting materials which can hurt community sentiments, hack profile, head speech, etc. And with the increase of uh, e-commerce and uh, e-transaction, the cybercrime will increase. Our uh, uh, existing initiative, Cybercrime Police Station, Special Task Force, Cyber Lab, uh, we are having capacity building workshops, we are using social media in policing, CCDNS, etc. Cybercrime Police Station, uh, recently inaugurated by our Honorable CM. A uh, cybercrime is very specific area, talented pool was identified and uh, they are trained in cybercrime. It investigates cybercrime uh, over the whole of the Uttarakhand. And these are some of the pictures of our newly established cybercrime police station. Special task force is specifically for uh, organized crime but it also provides technical intelligence to the districts and in uh, serious crimes. We have got advanced uh, legal interception and monitoring system system based server based cdr analysis and portable field kits these are some of the uh, resources we have cyber lab as uh, we are a small state but we are upgrading our resources we are upgrading through uh, help of uh, cdac center for advanced uh, computing noida uh, we already have some resources from stf and other wings like uh, all forensic analysis tools, NK, FTK, password kits, thread, forensic recovery of evidence devices, first responder kits, cell rights, and other softwares provided by CIDA. Most important aspect for tackling cyber crime is manpower training and capacity building. Training is most important to understand the modus operandi of the criminals, how they actually do the crime. And it will also help the, our investigation officers to successfully investigate the case and launch a prosecution. We have two-year collaboration with CDAC NOIDA to train over 200 police uh, personnel uh, all over uh, Uttarakhand. Uh, it is the, this uh, collaboration is being funded by Department of uh, Information Technology, Government of India. There are basic, mid-level and advanced level of courses. 50 advanced level trained manpower will be ready by end of second year which will be uh, useful for our cybercrime police station STF and district SOG teams. They can uh, help us as a training of trainers also. We are organizing regular refresher courses. As I told you, uh, social media analysis, social media uh, is or has got its positive and negatives also. There are success stories and there are darker sides also. Success stories being uh, its large reach, connectivity, faster and anonymity. Uh, scope for advertisement and scope for marketplace but darker side is as I already discussed privacy issues, uh, stalking issues, uh, piracy issues, obscene contents, defamation etc etc. Social media analysis in districts and uh, sir, uh, ADG intelligence sir is also here. He has started uh, social media analysis wings in every district and intelligence headquarters. So any, any activities which can uh, harm uh, the communal tension that are being monitored, we are penetrating in suspicious groups and this, this has been very, proved very useful during elections and communal situations. Other initiatives like Uttarakhand police apps and some district, individual districts have done some mobile apps, 
we are using WhatsApp groups uh, to fight crime between police persons themselves. Our uh, crime and criminal tracking network, uh, CCTNS Uttarakhand, we are one of the uh, pioneer states in uh, implementing CCTNS. Uh, we have covered already 125, all the, all the police stations and 59 higher police officers. Uh, as a part, uh, citizen portal services is also a part of a CCTNS project. It's being launched uh, uh, now. We have already made a pilot project uh, in uh, five police stations of Dehradun. It will enable uh, complaint registration directly from police station level to highest level. It will have additional features like tenant verification and character certificate. Soon we are going to uh, operationalize a citizen portal all over the state. And we have uh, another proposed action plan to upgrade our uh, forensic science laboratories and capacity building efforts and another apps. What we feel, what we have challenges before us, it is not easy to identify the cyber criminals because of anonymity, they use fake, they use fake IDs. Legal procedures are very cumbersome and time consuming. There is problem of jurisdiction as, uh, as already told uh, you, there are no geographical boundaries. Crimes happen, can happen everywhere but crime investigation stops at boundaries. So use of cyber cafes uh, by criminals, new developments in technologies, every technology uh, we have to wait for their legal and regulatory issues. There, for investigation and prosecution we need uh, expert witnesses and we have very sh sh less uh, quantity of expert witnesses and also we need expert investigators also. Problem is to retain our expert talent into police force. That is also a major challenge. And to maintain chain of custody of evidences in our uh, cyber forensics. And what can be the strategies to defend against the cyber crimes? To find the vulnerabilities and fixing them at the state national level. Focus on uh, this was a traditional approach, but new approach for uh, fighting cyber crimes is to focus on uh, perspective of the criminals, uh, how they uh, how they actually carry out their uh, cyber crime, adopt the best practices available, and educate the people so that they are not being cheated by cyber criminals. Uh, I can quote uh, one line because the criminals are uh, criminals are becoming test savvy. They are one one step ahead. We have to be one step ahead of them. We are building our walls to defend against cyber criminals, but they are, they are increasing length of their ladders to cross our uh, walls. So uh, I would quote, be extremely subtle even to the point of formlessness, be extremely mysterious even to the point of soundlessness, thereby you can direct, uh, di there, thereby you can be director of opponent's fate. By me, by, uh, by that means we have to be ahead of criminals, we have to think ahead of them and we have to prepare ourselves to uh, tackle all these crimes and uh